Hello everyone, this is Jay Freeman. I'm coming to you with another tutorial on Facebook Pixels, okay? Facebook Pixels and installing those in your builder all websites or landing pages or your stores or your membership site, whatever it is, you are able to uh, install those. And so I decided to do this video because a lot of people are having an issue um, as far as installing their pixels and verifying that their pixels are on the page. They're seeing, saying that um, the pixels are not showing up and that they are not seeing those pixels on their pages. So what happens is, and, and I know where the problem is coming in. So uh, if you haven't heard of Facebook pixels, first you want to go to your business manager or your ads manager and you want to you want to get a pixel um, and set up your pixel and you want to get this actual copy right this actual uh, script the pixel code and we're just going to copy that to the actual clipboard i'm going to use that in a few minutes and so i come back here into builder all and there's two spots that you can actually do this in uh currently uh well it's two spots that i i know of that i do it in is and actually it's the layout level and also the page level right and so for your layout, you know, you could do your different layouts here in Builder All. And for this particular layout, um, I want to go here and I want to click on this little gear icon that's going to allow me to get all of the additional settings. So the SEO settings as well as meta tags and all of the different analytics, right? So if you have Google Analytics, you can put that in here. But here we have the Facebook Pixel script. So we're just going to paste that in here. And now you'll see that's in here. We're going to save it. OK, and we're going to save our site. Now, the thing to understand and to to make note of is that once you you do that, if you're trying to verify that pixel, um, you can't do it in the editor. Right. So you'll see here I have what we call the pixel Facebook pixel helper. Um, it's actually a little extension that um, Facebook actually created for Google Chrome for you to be able to verify any of the pixels that you have on your pages. And so I have that now. So you see. Once I click on the preview and the preview is loaded, I have nothing showing. I have nothing at all showing. OK, and so this should be showing because I just put it on my layout. So the layout uh, actually uh, disperses the code on all of the pages that you have under that layout. Um, so you may think this is not working, but it actually is. It, the code is actually there. So what you have to do is, um, again, we've already saved it. So what you'll do is you'll come to, and let me just close out these other two. You'll come to your Builder All dashboard, okay, where your drag and drop site builder is at. And that particular website, you're going to click on it, okay? If it's live, you're going to click on it. And then that's going to bring up that website. And then now... If you see here in the Facebook pixel helper, I now have two pixels on this page. OK, and so if I click on that, now it's showing me that I have two particular events that have been um, that have been fired and Facebook is tracking now. So that's a page view and then you have the micro data, you know, for the page as well. OK, and so. That's how you would actually verify that. Now, here's another thing that you need to know about as well. So that was on the layout level. We want to also track, say, a completion, right? A completed registration or a lead. For this particular funnel that I have as far as my web, my, uh, my home page, um, when they click this button, they're taken to a pop-up. And that pop-up actually um, allows them to get to the next page, which is the scheduling and all of that. So once they fill this in, then they go to my actual scheduler page. And so um, ideally, because they've already opted in, I can consider them a lead, even though they may not have already uh, scheduled their appointment. Right. I can consider them a lead. But in order to do that, I'm going to tell Facebook when they land on this page, this is where I want you to count as a registration. OK, this is the page I want them to hit before they're counted as a registration. So in order to do that, let me see, I'm just going to continue on. We're in the same screen and you'll see here that Facebook has all of these different events that you can track. You know, your purchase event, your generate lead event, complete registration event, add payment info event. And so either the generate lead or the complete registration is what we can use um, to identify a lead for us, for us or a client rather. You know, and so I'm going to come here. I'm just going to copy this code here. I'm going to come back to the page level. OK, again, we're on the page level. So I'm going to come back to the page level and where it says page head scripts. I'm just going to paste that there. 
and you see it says track and complete registration. Um, and you're able to even, I think with the lead, you're able to tell it, okay, this amount is what each lead is, is worth to me. And Facebook will track that, it'll track that information and spit that data back to you uh, with cost numbers, right? It'll tell you how much uh, your cost per lead is and how much, say for instance, if this is an e-com funnel and you've made a purchase or what have you, it'll tell you uh, the amount that you spent on ads, but how much you made from that purchase as well, okay? It'll, it'll calculate all that information. All right, so we're gonna save that. We're just gonna save this page here. And now we're gonna go back uh, to that page. And of course, I gotta get the, um, this is the actual scheduling page, right? And so I'm going to, I know the URL to that, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to opt into the actual list. I'm going to uh, go to schedule your call. And so when we click here, now we're going to see again the, that, that two show up, right? But this time when we see it, it's showing the page view and the complete registration. And so when I go back to Facebook, I'm able to see that this is a registration that's been completed, right? And um, and so let's say that I, I just click, that, click out of that and refresh this. Sometimes it takes Facebook anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to update, um, you know, update the uh, pixel information and stuff. So uh, sometimes you just have to bear with it. You may be looking for, but see, you see here, it actually has already tracked uh, my pixel information and it shows the page view and it shows the completed registrations. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. So remember, <clears throat> always remember that you have to go back to this dashboard to actually verify your pixels. If you don't do that, if you try to verify in the actual editor, it won't verify for you. See how I go go to preview and you, you won't see those, um, how Builder All has it set up. You won't be able to see that information until you go back to the builder, uh, to the drag and drop builder and a preview from there. Or if you know the actual, um, the URL of the actual page already, you can just type it in and you know come up with it as that way as well all right so again if you have any other questions um, i'm going to be doing some weekly uh videos some weekly webinars um we're going we're gonna to call it the ask ask j b a s j you know and uh, so you can ask me any question in regards to builder all i'm going to be doing some training as well on how to build a web page even a landing page from start to finish many of you guys um, have never had web page building experience but the Builder All tool allows you to, to drag and drop and kind of duplicate what you've seen. Um, but a lot of times there's certain things like margins and padding and the flow of the content that's vitally important to that page being successful. Anybody can build a page um, that, that may not be aesthetically pleasing to the eye or aesthetically right from a theoretical standpoint. Uh, but we want to make sure that the pages that we build are converting as well. All right, so I'm going to be doing a um, tutorial and training on that as well about how to build a optimized page from start to finish with Builder All as well. Okay, all right, guys, uh, that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you on the side.